Collection of data. We collect information in the form of data. The data collected can be of various kinds like number of members of a community, weight of 10 students of a class, number of plants of different kind in your school. The data can be gathered in different ways. Primary data. In case the data is collected by the investigator him or herself directly with a specific purpose in mind, it is called primary data. Secondary data. In case the investigator use the data collected by some other person or for some other purpose, the data is called secondary data. Representation of data. The data given here shows the height of seven students of a class. These are 4.8 feet, 4.6 feet, 5.1 feet, 4.3 feet, 5.1 feet, 5.4 feet and 5.6 feet. This data has no proper arrangement. This type of data is called raw data. Raw data can be presented in the following forms. Ascending or descending order, discrete frequency distribution table, grouped frequency distribution table. Ascending or descending order. Let us arrange the given data in ascending order. We can also arrange it in descending order. Note that if we want to know the maximum and minimum heights, it is easy to get it in the ascending arrangement and the descending arrangement. But it would take longer time to find it in raw data. Range. The difference between the highest and the lowest value in a given data is called the range of the data. For example, in the above example, the range is 5.6 minus 4.3 feet that is equal to 1.3 feet. Grouped frequency distribution. The weight in grams of 40 apples picked at random from a basket are as follows. We can tabulate this data in groups of 15 as follows. From 30 to 44, there are 7 elements. From 45 to 59, there are 7 elements. From 60 to 74, there are 10 elements. From 75 to 89, there are 9 elements. From 90 to 104, there are 5 elements. From 105 to 119, there are 2 elements. Note that here we have condensed the large amount of data into a grouped frequency distribution table. Some basic definitions. Variate. A quantity that varies from one individual to another is known as variate or a variable. For example, marks obtained, age, height, etc. are some variates. Class limit. Every class interval has two limits. The smallest observation of the interval is called lower limit and largest observation is called upper limit. For example, in the class interval 10 to 20, lower limit is 10 whereas upper limit is 20. Class mark. The mid value of the class is called its class mark. It can be obtained by using the following formula. Class mark can be given by half of upper limit plus lower limit. For example, class mark of interval 10 to 20 is given by class mark is equal to half of 20 plus 10 which is 15. Class size or class width. The difference between upper and lower limits of an interval is called class size or class width. Grouped frequency distribution. In the animation on grouped frequency distribution, we had tabulated the following data of 40 apples picked at random from a basket. Suppose we add one more apple of weight 44.5 grams to the basket. Note that we cannot count this apple either in the group 30 to 44 or in the group 45 to 59. This happens because there are gaps between the upper limit and lower limit of two consecutive classes. That means we must make the class intervals so that the upper limit and lower limit of two consecutive classes are same. To do this, 
First, we find the difference in the upper limit and lower limit of the two succeeding classes. And then we add half of it to each of the upper limit and subtract the same from each of the lower limit. For example, in the intervals 30 to 44 and 45 to 59, the upper limit of 30 to 44 is 44 and the lower limit of 45 to 59 is 45. This implies the difference is 45 minus 44, that is 1. And so, the half of the difference is 0 0.5. Therefore, the new class interval obtained from 30 to 44 is 29.5 to 44.5. And the new class interval obtained from 45 to 59 is 44.5 to 59.5. Proceeding in this manner, we obtain this grouped frequency table in this form. Note that we do not count the 44.5 gram apple twice. By convention, the extra apple of weight 44.5 grams is not added in the class interval 29.5 to 44.5 but to the interval 44.5 to 59.5.